Hello, hello. Okay. Welcome, Manuel. Welcome, Carolina. Thank you for being early. One minute before. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. I'm very happy to see you again. Mr. Manuel, how are you? I think Manuel is setting up everything. Did you have the chance to see the video that I sent on the group? Um, I have a picture. Excuse me. Don't worry, don't worry. I sent a video to the group today. Ah, uh, sí. Déjeme ver ahorita. Ay, que sin lentes no veo. Con razón. <laughs> Yo decía, ¿por qué veo tan raro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a, it's, that's a situation. Definitely. Sí. sí. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I sent you a video, but you can check it if you want. You can check it later for you to pay attention, for you to actually um, repeat, analyze every single part of it. And it is, it is a very good uh, way for you to practice how to move your mouth, how to like um, when you pronounce the words, right? how to uh, to the position that you have to have on your on your lips so it's a very good video that you can use for that uh, yes teacher uh, uh, no me ha quedado tiempo porque he tenido un I día imagine. Bien, un no, día bien I, ocupado I, pero no no he revisado pero sí vi vi que lo había mandado vi que había mandado información y muchas gracias pero pero si sí no me ha quedado tiempo no don't worry it's for you to use it whenever you have the time Okay. Es uno de esos videos de que tiene que tenerle tiempo, es lo pausando, repitiendo. Sí. O sea, no solo, ay, ya lo vi, etc. Tiene muchas, tiene las opciones de, de práctica para, para repetición y todo. ¿Quién lo vio? A ver, cuéntenme. I'm sorry, in my case, I, 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 I couldn't to saw. I couldn't see, you say. I, 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 I couldn't see. Because uh, I was uh, listening, reading the the videos. Okay, good. Hey, that's good. That, but well, but you practice the other ones. That's very nice. Yeah. Yes, as I told you, the video that I sent you needs a lot of time. Okay, tienen que tener yes. tienen que tener como el, el espacio, el tiempo y el momento. Analyze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to analyze because it's a lot of repetition, a lot of positioning, yes. a lot of like analyzing the video, right? Because it's it's for the phonemes, it's for the sounds. So it's it's necessary that you take the time to do it. But it's very good that you watch the other videos. They were very cool, very informative about the distribution channels, the producers, and all the vocabulary that we have been studying during these classes. Well, in general, uh, good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here. I hope everything is fine at home. Everything is fine. Now we didn't have rain, thank God. Well, at least not here near my house. I don't know near your houses. Because here it didn't rain anymore. That was very good. So we are going to start our class number three today. We are going to be developing, as I told you yesterday, um, how to express certainty, how to express uncertainty. It's like when you are sure about things and when you don't know about others, right? You say like, I am absolutely sure, like I am certain about. 
I am pretty sure, I have no doubt, right? Those are expressions that, do, that you use to express certainty. So that is what we are going to be working on today. Cristia, can you help us read the agreements of the class? Yes. A class agreement. One, practice your English as much as possible. Two, ask for help when needed. Three, keep your cameras on all the time. Four, keep microphones off if, you, if we are not using them. Five, attend all your sessions on time. Six, participate as much as possible. Seven, keep a cooperative attitude. Attitude, attitude good. Attitude. attitude during class. Eight, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Nine, work on the platform every day. Very good job. Thank you, Christia. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you very much. Well, as I told you today, we are going to study the degrees of certainty. It's our class number three. This is going to be linked with all the things that we have been studying, right? With the production channels, with the distribution channels, and for sure, with the vocabulary that we use at the moment of talking about the processes. So the highlights about your day. I am going to choose today let me see the cameras. I am going to choose Silvia Suleima, Danny Anthony, and Olga Marlene to tell me the highlights of your day. How was your day? What did you do? What activities did you do today? Was it a good day, a stressful day, a fantastic day, a terrible day, a tiring day? How was your day today? So I am going to choose the three of you, Silvia Suleima, Danny Anthony, and Olga Marlene to tell me about your day. Go ahead. Uh, uh, good evening, teacher. Hi, Danny. It is a fantastic day. I was a celebrate happy day. It's partner in, in the afternoon. It is, uh, I was put the cake, hey. <laughs> the fruit. Oh, you were eating cake. So to recap, you celebrated a friend's birthday. Yes? Okay. 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 You say, I celebrated a, a co-worker's birthday. It was nice because we ate cake, fruit cake. Okay, so that's the idea. Nice, Danny. Did you bring cake for the bring class? No. Uh, hey. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a little. A, a li just a little bit of cake. Uh -huh. Y para sus compañeros no, no, no está. No, no, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should bring cake for the class. Okay, good. So, as Danny didn't have, I will bring you some. Aquí les dejo un pedacito. <laughs> Para todos. <laughs> Cake for everybody. Thank you very much, Danny. Claps for Danny. Very good. Thank you very much. Silvia, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Um, today I don't work uh, in my office, but in I work in my house and I and I stay with my daughter. Hey, that's pretty awesome. So you see, in that case, you say, I did home office. Oh. I did home office today. So, or you say, I was at home office today. That it makes the sense that you worked at home, right? And you were enjoying with your daughter. Hey, that's a pretty nice thing because you had the chance to actually share a lot with your daughter, right? Mom and daughter time. That was pretty cool. Very nice. <laughs> Yes. So, Silvia, thank you very much. What about Olga Marleni? Tell us about your day. Good evening, everyone. Hello. <laughs> My day was very busy because in, I did many tests in, in my office. Uh, for example, in purchase, in accounting, in the traffic is terrible for me because I live in Lourdes. Ah, yes. And, yeah. <laughs> then 
the street is very complicated, but I stay in my home uh, right now and I did anything. Oh my God. And, <laughs> yes, but it's, it's good. Okay, so the worst part of your day was the traffic, right? The traffic was the yes. most difficult. I know that I traveled to San Juan Opico for 11 years from <laughs> San Salvador to San Juan Opico every day. I used to work in, in near San Juan Opico and mm -hmm. it was a very terrible traffic every single day. In, yes, in the morning, in the night. And all the time. <laughs> yes, all the time. I think there, there is no moment on the it's day of which hard. there is no traffic. Oh my God. Yes. So, but thank God you are at home right now. Thank you, Olga, for sharing. And one volunteer, okay? I chose three and I need one volunteer. Who wants to share about his or her day? Ajá. Que no sea democrático, sino que democrático, voluntario. Mi teacher. Go ahead, Manuel, go ahead. Good evening. Hello. I, today I, I was working in the morning, eight to, eight to 12, in the, in the evening. Uh, uh -huh, in the afternoon? In the afternoon, thank you. In the afternoon, uh, I work in, in, personal questions okay and the traffic it it was uh, heavy yes yes in the morning i visited uh, many clients because uh, i i send uh, i i visited and i what do you say Yevar? i took I, I took uh, bills. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is uh, my day. Okay, very good job. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, very nice. Thank you for the volunteering. In this case, when you have to do personal personal questions, it's like preguntas personales. It's the, we, we, we make the, the, the arrangement of questiones personales. In okay. that case, when you do things that belong to you that are just personal, I send it on the chat that it's called running errands. It is that you were doing personal things, right? Okay. I was doing personal things, you say, things, and I was handing out some bills. Estaba llevando facturas, si no me equivoco. Yes, some bills. So I was handing out that you were taking to different people some bills, okay? When you say I was running errands, it's like andaba haciendo cosas personales, right? I was okay. running okay. errands. In, in good Spanish, it's like andaba haciendo unos mandados, mandados personales. Right? So it was very good. Thank you very much for your day. Cristia, how was your class yesterday? Ay. <laughs> good evening. Hi. How was your Can class you, yesterday? Can you hear me? Yes. yes? Okay. Uh, my class yesterday was very busy because I have uh, I had um, evaluate uh, evaluation. evaluation evaluation and I think uh, I have a great grade I got I got a good I got grade. a great grade hey, yes. nice. I think <laughs> <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I am sure about it I am sure yes. about it and yes. And only that. <laughs> and only and, that. Yeah, okay. In the in the case of classes, you say I got a good score. A score. Okay. A score. It's it's for the exams and evaluation, right? Because okay. in most of the cases, when you say when you use grade, in 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 English, they might confuse it with the gradings of the levels, like septim, octavo, noveno, etc. Right? Okay. You say I got a good grade. It's it's good, but it's better to say I got a good oh. score. Okay. Thank you very much, Christia. Very nice. So let's go and move into business. What did we study yesterday? What did we do in class? Who remembers? And this is an open question for everybody. 
What did we do in class yesterday? We have uh, this, we had discussions. Okay. Discussion. Uh -huh. We had discussions in groups. Discussions about Ed and Jenny. Uh -huh. About the situations and the conversation. What else, yeah. Diana? You were going to share something. Yes, we saw different distribu distribution channels. Exactly, we saw four distribution channels. Which ones do you remember? Um, wholesaler, retailer, and director channel, and ah, broker channel. And the broker, good, we saw the four different channels. Okay, we studied a case. Do you remember the person who was in problems? Wendy. <laughs> Wendy, right? Let's see, what was the problem with Wendy people? Who remembers poor Wendy? What was the problem with her? Uh -huh. She, she don't know about the, the business. She, did, she doesn't know anything about the business. She couldn't sell what? Uh, the clothes uh, she made. The, the clothes she made, right? Because. And besides mm -hmm. the clothes, what other things she works with? Jewelry, I think. Jewelry and? It, there was a word there. Do you remember they, the word? They paid fifty hundred, fifty thousand dollars. Five thousand. Five. <laughs> fifty. Cincuenta. <laughs> La Wendy paid fifty thousand Cincuenta mil dollars. Five thousand, right? Five thousand dollars for the uh, for the bill. Uh, okay, good. Very good. She used to sell clothes and accessories, accessories. for uh, for women, right? For women, Ooh. remember, woman is singular, women is plural. Okay, something good that I, I think I am going to work with the complete group is the pronunciation of past tenses. I have noticed that you have difficulties with that. Tengo tres días de conocernos en esta relación one on one y ya me di cuenta que necesitamos practicarlos. The pronunciation of the past tenses. That's something that we need to work on a little bit. I am going to dedicate a day just for that. So thank you for telling me what did you do and what did we do in class yesterday. So yesterday we were also checking the, the manual of the class, right? And right now, as I can see that many of you are already connected, I am going to take the attendance before we start. Okay, remember when you listen to your name, say here or present. Okay, Carolina Yamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Claudia Maria Melendez. Claudia Maria. Okay, uh, Christian Natalie. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Present. Jorge Humberto. Present. José Carlos Argueta. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you very much. Eh, José Rodrigo Hernández. José Rodrigo. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present. Thank you. Linda Yvette Márquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Welcome. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. María Genoveva Elías. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Eh, Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present. Thank you, Nelson. It's a pleasure to see you. Lo extrañamos ayer. Norma Carolina. <laughs> Present teacher. Olga Barleni Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Rocío Verónica López. Present. Rosa Beatriz Flores. Present. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Tatiana Michelle Sánchez. Tati. Vilma Ivet Alvarado. Eh, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you. 
Omar Francisco Hernandez. Present. Thank you very much. And Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Thanks everybody for uh, answering the attendance. Today, the one-on-one -on -one session is for? Chan, chan, chan. ¿A quién le toca hoy la sesión uno a uno? ¿Lo eh. tienen en el WhatsApp? <laughs> Christian, right? It's for Christian Anthony. Very good job. Well, my dear class, let's work. Today, we are going to work a little bit on expressing the degrees of certainty. As you can see there on your manual, right, we have many different types of expressions that you can use in order to talk about certainty, right? Today, it's our class number three. So we're going to go here after the distribution channels, right? Let's see. Here we go. Okay, we were talking about the different business that they want to have, right? We were talking about the ice cream business that the brothers wanted to work on. And for sure, we were answering the questions on this one. Today, as I told you before, we are going to talk about how to use the expressions of certainty. It's when you want to show that you are certain or sure about something, about an action or an event. Before 7.30, I am sure that all my students are going to connect to class at eight. So five minutes to eight, I am certain that they are going to be connected, right? And I know that doubtless the class is going to be a success because you are very committed to work. And of course, we enjoy every single moment of the class because Obviously, all my students are very dedicated to the things that they do, right? And for sure, in all like, likelihood, they are going to be ready to receive all the knowledge. I use different expressions of certainty. And they are used for you to point out that you are sure about something, right? You can say... I know my students are going to connect to class, but it's different if I say, I am certain that all of them are going to be there because I am focusing more on the extreme knowledge that I have for my class, right? Podemos decir, yeah, the class is going to be at eight. But you say like, I am certain that the class is at eight. It's like, nadie me va a salir de aquí porque yo estoy segura de que eso es así. Right? I know that if I bring 100 pupusas to a party, right? Obviously, all of them are going to disappear because many people love pupusas. You're going to say like two, three, four, five, six, right? And of course, all of you are going to like them. That is the use of the expressions of certainty. We are going to go deep in the topic uh, right now. Juan de Dios is going to be the first one to help me with, oh, Claudia Melendez, it says, I have problems with my internet, sorry. Okay, Juan de Dios is going to help me to read the first chart that we have here. Let me organize my screen first. And... Okay. Expression yes. of certainty appear before the, the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Okay. And here you have the first example. The investor, right, is certainly coming tomorrow. In this sentence, my dear students, which one is the main verb? What is the main verb? Coming. Coming, right? It's coming. Coming. What is the auxiliary verb? Is. Is. is, right? The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. You can say, and if you remove it, si lo quitamos, la frase va a ser la misma, pero no va a tener mm. tanto impacto. There is like, eh, the investor is coming tomorrow. Ay, todos los días dice que viene y nunca viene. It's like the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. It's like you are sure 
because he told you, because you read it on an email and you are sure that it is going to happen. What about the next example? Nelson, can you help me to read the next example? The manager, uh, I will also choose the Goyler Fair uh, prop, no distribution. Okay, let's read. Practice with me, Nelson. The managers. The manager. Obviously. Obviously. Choose. Choose. The wholesale. The wholesale. Approach. Approach. To distribution. To distribution. Okay, leamos toda la oración de nuevo. The managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. Go ahead. The manager. Managers. Choose the manager. I will just choose the wholesale approach to distribution. Obviously. 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 Approach. Oh, okay. Obviously. Approach. Wholesale. Wholesale. Whole, whole uh, those, sale. Whole sale. Whole okay. sale. All the class, practice with me. The managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. The, manager. the managers, managers obviously choose the wholesale the approach to distribution. 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 Obviously. Certainly. Certainly. Of course. Of course. Of course. In all likelihood. In, In all, all likelihood. likelihood. Surely. 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 Doubtless. 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 Doubtless is in duda alguna, right? Obviously. 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 Okay, don't say it's obvious. obvious. <laughs> no, it's obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Who, who, who? Alguien me dijo, teacher, teacher. ¿Quién fue? Teacher, uh, a question. Yes. The, mean, the meaning of likelihood. Likelihood. Okay. Let's read the example and I will give you the meaning. Okay. Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make okay. their business glow. It's like. De todas maneras, a toda costa, por todos los medios, right? No hay duda alguna. In all likelihood. Okay. It's like, ya no hay como punto de quiebra, mm -hmm. todo está preparado. Mm -hmm. In all likelihood. And you say, um, Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow. Ed and Philip están por todos los medios <laughs> posibles. Listos to make, listos to make, <laughs> listos para hacer su eh, negocio crecer. Okay, and this is cool. In this, the expressions of certainty, as I was telling you, if you don't use them, they don't make a big, big, big eh, difference on the sentence. But it helps you at the moment of speaking because they show that you are not lying that you are not saying things that are not possible, and they affirm that you are sure about the information that you are sharing. Because let's read the first one here. Rocio, can you help me to read the first sentence without the, uh, the expression of certainty? Yeah. The Let me see if certainty. Okay, read the sentence without the expression. The investor. Ah, the inve investor. without certainty. Without the expression, huh? Ah, okay, okay. The investor is coming tomorrow. The investor is coming tomorrow. Manuel, afirme nos que él va a venir. Very certain. Uh huh. The microphone. The microphone, Manuel. <laughs> the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. Okay. And you have to specify the word, right? The investor is certainly coming tomorrow. 
right? For you to make it a little bit more intense, right? You have to intensify a little bit on the pronunciation. Claudia Melendez, can you help me with the second one? I don't know if you can work on the microphone. Read it what without the, the... Without, um, what sentences? The second one, the managers. <laughs> the, the managers obviously choose the wholesaler approach to distribution. Okay. The managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution. Christia, you have your hand up. Yes, I have a question. Yes. For the first sentence, if I said, uh, I say the investor is going to come in tomorrow, uh, it's not the same impact. It is the same impact, but you say like the investor is going to come tomorrow. The investor is going to come. Porque si ocupamos going, pasamos el, el, uh, a infinitive. The yeah. investor is going to come tomorrow. It is the same impact. But as you know, in some cases, these type of expressions give you like a bigger level of vocabulary. So you don't sound so basic at the moment of speaking. Because okay. in that case, it's like, ah, the investor is going to come tomorrow. Uh -huh, sure. But if you say the investor is certainly coming tomorrow, it gives okay. you a different level of English. For example, when I say, how are you? What do people answer? ¿Qué contesta la gente siempre cuando les dicen, how are you? I'm fine. 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 Y, y eso es como universal. Y es yes. como, fine. And they say, I'm marvelous, I'm fantastic, I'm great. It was a fantastic day. And I am, answer. so you have so many ways to answer. I have never listened to a person to say, I'm a marvelous teacher. And it is a good way to say, fine, it's a different option. So in this case, okay. Christia, it gives you like a different view of the, of the language that you have. Right? It sounds clean, it sounds sure, it sounds that you know what you are talking about. Okay, Mr. Jorge? Okay. I have a question. Yes. What happened with the, the tense of the, the main verb? Like in which one? Uh, in the first one, the investor is cer certainly coming tomorrow. Okay. Only infinitive tense or? <laughs> well, in this case, you are talking about future. Uh -huh. This is about the future, because as you can see, uh, Right, in this case, yeah. say the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. And you can use will going to, and it doesn't affect, right? But in this case, when you use certainly, you are just affirming that you are sure about the information that you are sharing, right? In this case, it will be for the future. What about the next one? The managers choose the wholesale approach to distribution. Is it present past? What is it? Right. Yeah. It's present, it's right? present. 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 What about the next one? Ed and Philip are in all likelihood ready to make their business grow. Future. It's future. It's future and present at the same time, right? Because they are going to grow the, the, the business, but they are doing that right now. What about the next ones? I have another example here. Jorge, aprovechando que tiene la manita levantada. Read the next one. And in this one, the expression is at the beginning, right? Surely Here you have it. the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Okay, the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. You can say, you can say, the managers will surely know how to arrange for distribution, right? But here you put it at the beginning. And it's what, like when you talk in Spanish, it's like, seguramente. Ellos lo van a hacer. We podemos decir, ellos seguramente lo van a hacer. And it's the same form, right? You can place it at the beginning. For example, in the case of surely and doubtless, right? Doubtless, the shipment will arrive on time. And you can say the shipment will doubtless arrive on time. And the sentence will be exactly the same. This is future and this is future because here you have will, right? Then, then it, it doesn't matter the, the tense of the verb could be whatever it could be any type of tense because we are going to see some examples in the past ya okay. le voy a mostrar en otros ejemplos que tengo unas oraciones en pasado and you will see that in this case it makes you 
just uh, emphasize the certainty of what you are talking about. It can be in the present, in the past, or in the future, right? You can use it in, in the three forms. I'm going to show you more examples in a moment. And the last example here, uh, Tatiana, can you help me with this one? Yes, teacher, partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously. Okay, in this case, we are using it at the end. And this sounds very Spanish, right? When you say like, did you finish the work? I finished everything, obviously. It's like, ¿con quién está hablando? Pues, obviously. And you can also use it at the beginning. You say like, obviously, partnering with a retailer will help us reach more, uh, many more customers. Or you can say partnering with a retailer will obviously help us reach many more customers. So the position of obviously in this case, it is not going to affect the certainty of what you are talking about. Let's go over some more examples, right? I really like when I, when I choose a topic like this, I like to give you more options for you to have like a bigger view of what we are studying, okay? No sé si a ustedes les parece, pero a mí me gusta un montón darles más opciones. Como estas yeah. son unas y le puedo enseñar otras para que vean teacher, que... Uh -huh. teacher, uh, teacher means that the verb can be in any tense. Okay, in this case, it's the, the word, right? Because the verbs, we have the auxiliary and the main verb. In this case, it's just an expression that we are using. These ones, surely, obviously, no doubt, in all likelihood, those are expressions. Esas son expresiones que podemos usar en cualquiera de las tres maneras que están ahí. La más común es usarla después del, eh, del verbo to be o después del verbo auxiliar y antes del verbo principal. Esa es la más obviamente. común y es la más eh, recomendada, obviamente. O sea, pero <risa> mi pregunta es que el verbo puede estar en cualquier tiempo, o sea, puede estar en pasado, Ajá. en futuro. Yes. Ah, ok. Esta la, la, ya les voy a enseñar unas oraciones en pasado para que vean cómo también se, se ocupa la, la oración o de lo que está hablando puede ser en pasado, en presente o en futuro. Because you can say, today in the morning I was obviously late because I woke up very late to go to work. I was very, very worried that I was not going to make it, but I was certain about one thing, that I was going to arrive before my boss. <laughs> That's in past tense, right? Certainly. It's a real story. <laughs> so uh, let me show you more examples. It says, well, the expressions that we have been studying is to be certain about. What is the next one? To be sure about. To be sure about. To strongly believe that. The next one? It goes without, it goes saying. without, without saying. It goes without saying. Yeah. What is the meaning of it goes without saying? What would be the meaning in Spanish for this? Se entiende sin decirlo. Exactly. Se entiende sin decirlo. It's like, no necesito explicarlo. It goes without saying, right? Right. You are going to finish the level with fantastic grades. That is something that goes without saying. Right? Because I am sure that it is going to happen, right? The next one, to be convinced off. off the next one to have no, to doubt. Have no doubt, doubt about, it. about it to have no doubt about it uh, you are going to enjoy your august vacation i have no doubt about it you are going to be there enjoying at home the next one when you say without doubt is the same to have no doubt about, it's without doubt, sin duda alguna. It is obvious that, right? And you can say also that the verb must also express certainty. You can say, I have to study, teacher. Yes, you have to study, but it's different if I say, you must study in order to get more knowledge. I am certain that you need that. You tell me, ay, teacher, es que sí siento que estoy como más gordito, más gordita. You must exercise every day. Ah, teacher, but I, I love to sleep. You have to wake up early, right? That obviously is going to help. That it's obviously going to help you with your exercise. If you wake up a little bit early, you must do it. 
that expresses certainty. And in this case, we are going to create some examples here, okay? Here with the first one. Turn, turn, turn. Let me just find the text. My goodness. Lo perdimos. It's right here. Okay. So let's create a sentence. We are not going to keep only the phrase. We need to write some examples, right? To be certain about. Remember that we need to put the auxiliary verb and the main verb. And you can say, I am certain about the success of my next book. Okay, nunca he escrito uno, solo me lo inventé. I am certain about, and the T is missing, the success of my next book. Okay, and this is a sentence using certain. Right, I am certain about. What about the next sentence? Can you help me to invent a sentence using sure about? And the subject will be, okay, Rosa Beatriz. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm not sure. So you're I'm expressing not... certainty. <laughs> yes, um, sure about, I'm not going to sleep Every today, because I sleep in the afternoon. Ah, okay, good. I am sure about, okay. Let me create the sentence in a better way. I am not going to sleep today because I slept in the afternoon. And you say, I am sure, I am sure about it, okay? I created your sentence like that, okay? I am not going to sleep today because I slept in the afternoon. I am sure about it. I'm going to be watching movies all the night. What about the next one? I strongly believe that. And I am going to add you the first part. And you give me the rest. I strongly believe that. ¿Qué es algo en lo que ustedes creen de veras? Así con mucho. I, am, I strongly believe that my mother loves me. No. <laughs> okay. Ay, what a cute sentence. I strongly believe that my mother really loves me because she shows you every single day that. I strongly believe that uh, learning English is the best tool for a better future. I strongly believe that. And that's why I work and I do what I do. It goes without saying. I am going to start the sentence here. It goes without saying that what? Huh? That I, I'm tired. <laughs> that I am tired because I have a hard day. Just to see me and you understand, right? It goes without saying that I am tired because I had a hard day. That's a very good sentence. I think it's real for all of us. <laughs> Creo yeah. que aplica para todos. The next one. I am convinced of. Okay. There you go. I have a sentence there. Mm -hmm. I am convinced of the power of a kind word. Right? And indeed, it is. Right? Teacher, I, uh, I am convinced of the power of coffee. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. That's another thing that I am convinced about. I am convinced about the power of coffee. Indeed. It works. Right? I don't know you, but many people say that if you don't drink coffee, you feel that you have a headache, that you have low energy. I don't know if it happens to you. ¿Qué le pasa? A ver. That you say like, no, I need my coffee, you say. 
do you feel that you really need it? That it's part of you or it's just something that you drink? The coffee. Uh -huh. It's part of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of me, right? It's, it's on my... I start, I start my chief at 5 a.m. So... I need my coffee in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to. Yes. <laughs> Without so it's the part coffee. of me. Tatiana it is, is a, a, a big coffee drinker. Yes, it's a coffee, a coffee lover. Without coffee, you are a coffee lover. Yes, no. and I, I, I can work without coffee. So we have the next example, right? Tatiana is a coffee lover, and we have no doubt about it. <laughs> I got the, the next example from you. And without any doubt, without any doubt, if you use the direct channel, your customers are going to get better products and better prices, right? Without doubt. I have here some other sentences that I created for you. And uh, okay, I am going to go first. These ones that I show you before are to express certainty. Ok, ahí sí, yo estoy seguro, nadie me puede quitar la idea, yo lo sé, así es y así lo expreso. And these ones are the opposite. These ones are when you don't know, when you are not sure. Instead of, mm, I am not certain about, I am not sure about, I strongly not believe that, I have doubt about. It's like, ah, I have doubt about. It's like, are you going to make it till the end of the month? I, I... <laughs> have doubt about. <laughs> llegas al 15, know. llegas al 15 con lo que tenés. I have doubt about. <laughs> you don't really know, right? I'm not certain about the cup early in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not certain about either. I think I am going to be late again, right? When you say I am in two minds about, when you say I am in two minds about, it's like you are doubting and you are like, this one is better, but what about this one? And, and I don't really know. It's like, mm, estoy como en mucha duda. I have, I am in two minds about. I am in two minds about uh, continuing studying because it is very difficult with the traffic, the time, the money and all that, the university, etc. So you are in two minds about it. It's like, ah, mirando como en, en dos mundos, ahí no sé. No puedo decidir. Also, you can use may or might to express uncertainty. Uh, you say, I don't know, I might be late. In the case of Jorge, right? I might be late tomorrow. Posiblemente, se no estoy seguro que voy a levantar, right? I feel uncertain about. Perhaps it's another word that you can use in order to express uncertainty. It's like, I have a lot of work to do. Perhaps, um, I don't know if I'm going to make it on time for the class. Perhaps, it's like, además, se lo dudo, perhaps. So, practice with me. I'm not certain about. I'm not certain about. I'm not certain about. I'm not sure about. I'm not sure about. I strongly not believe that. I have doubt about. I have doubt about. I doubt that. I doubt that. I am in two minds about. I am in two minds about. I feel uncertain about. I feel uncertain about. Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps, right? And Perhaps. now let me show you the examples that I have here. Here, in this case, I have the first example. And it says, uh, let me see. I am going to choose volunteers for reading, okay? I need Norma Carolina. Help me to read situation number one. Okay. This um, is a working student. This one, yes. Ah, okay. This situation, all the situation. Yes, I am sure that uh, we have a good grade. Okay, so, this is certainty, right? Because certainty. she, uh, well, in this case, the speaker believes that it is going to happen. So if I say, for example, build my bet, you are going to give me the answer. I am going to tell you the first situation and you give me the answer. 
Luis is a hardworking student. Yes, I am. Sure. You can say sure or certain. Yes, I am sure that he will have a good grade. Okay, yes, I am sure that he will have a good grade, a good score as well, right? Or you say, yes, I am certain. You can also use that one. Yes, I am certain that he will have a good grade. Okay. What about the next one? Diana, can you help me with the next situation? Okay. I strongly believe that our local football team will win the match. And for sure? Okay. With their actual level, I doubt it. I feel uncertain about it. <laughs> I am not talking about the selecta, okay? I am just writing examples. Without. <laughs> Without a doubt. I strongly believe, okay, students, you're going to give me the answer. Everybody. I strongly believe that our local football team will win the match. With the actual level, I doubt it. I doubt it or uncertain about it. I feel uncertain about it. Okay. Yesterday, as you remember, I was telling you about the intonation. And I can say, intonation helps a lot here. La intonación va a decir mucho de esto. Si yo le digo, I strongly believe that our local football team will win the match. And you say, huh? With their actual level, I doubt it. With their actual level, I feel uncertain about it. It's like, no, no, Chichi, no, 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 <laughs> right? It's like, with their actual level, mm, I doubt it. With the actual level, I feel uncertain about it. Okay, give it to me with fluency. I strongly believe that our local football team will win the match. With the actual I level, with the actual level, I doubt it. Actual level, I doubt it. I doubt it. It's like, mm, no, no, teacher. What about the next one? Luis is a hardworking student. With intonation, you say, yes, I am sure that he will have a good grade. Yes, I am certain that he will have a good grade. Intonation matters. Luis is a hardworking yes, student. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, I am sure. Do you think that Juana Maria will be the president of the USA? Do you have to I have it to my mind. Juana Maria about that. will be the president of the USA. Do you think Juana Maria will be the president of the USA? And here I missed the question mark, right? I yeah. am in two minds about that. I was like, mm, I don't think so. <laughs> no, Juanita, no, maybe not. I am right? in two minds. I am in two minds about that. It's like, mm, lo dudo. Estoy dudándolo mucho. <laughs> or it says, well, it goes without saying that she will win the elections. Well, well, it goes without saying that she will win the elections. Right, in this case, you are expressing certainty, right? It goes without saying. It's like, hey, me extraña, Juanita Maria. For sure, she will be the president. It's like, hey, it goes without saying. It's like, do you want do you want a piece of quesadilla for your coffee? It yes. goes without saying. What yes. saying? Yes. It goes yes. without saying. Oh, oh. <laughs> sure. Uh, for sure. <laughs> I, am, I strongly believe that I need it. Yes. <laughs> sure. So imagine if you say, ah, can you please share your quesadilla with your brother? Mm. Mm. I am in two minds about it. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Um, and you eat it all. I doubt it, mom. I doubt it. I feel uncertain about it. I feel uncertain about it. Yeah, it's like, solo hay una pupusa de queso, comanselo entre las dos. Mm, no, mom, I doubt it. <laughs> I feel, I, I strongly believe that I need it. He doesn't need it. So that's the way we use the expressions, right? For you to clarify, for you to make your points a little bit more specific. And it gives you a different switch to your English level. I have some examples here, and we're going to practice a little bit of reading on this one. And here we are going to go one by one. 
right now, I need you to turn off the microphones. Okay, apaguen todos sus micrófonos y les van a estar repitiendo, repitiendo, repitiendo en voz alta. Okay, you are going to read aloud. Read aloud. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. Practice with me and make the intonation with your microphone off. Después los encendemos y los practicamos. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. The movie will undoubtedly be sold out. She probably went home. He definitely stole the diamonds. He definitely left the house this morning. He surely won't forget. He is probably in the park. He is certainly a smart man. He has certainly forgotten the meeting. He will probably remember tomorrow. He is definitely running late. Okay, practice the sentence. Practice the sentence. Ahí practiquen en voz alta. Ya vamos a encender los micrófonos. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. The movie will undoubtedly be sold out. She probably went home. He definitely stole the diamonds. He definitely left the house this morning. He surely won't forget. He is probably in the park. He is certainly a smart man. He has certainly forgotten the meeting. He will probably remember tomorrow. He is definitely running late. Open the microphones. Rocio, tell me. Teacher, can you repeat the pronunciation of the world highlighted in red in the second sentence? Un, un. You say doubt. 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 Like doubt. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. It's like sin duda alguna. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Yeah, it's a very Undoubtly. curious word. That's why I include it, okay. right? Yo dije, esta okay. es nueva, esta no la voy <laughs> normalmente. Undoubtedly. Oh, yeah. Undoubtedly. 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 Okay. I'm Sentence double. number one. Students, go ahead. I will definitely, I will definitely feel, feel better. Okay. Ah, no, pero que me crean que se van a sentir mejor. No les creo que se van a sentir mejor. Okay. <laughs> Tell me. I, I will definitely feel, feel better, better tomorrow. tomorrow. Feel better tomorrow. I will yeah. definitely feel better tomorrow. You know, if you don't feel it's better tomorrow, you are not going to go to the mm -hmm. beach with us. I will definitely, I will definitely, feel, better definitely feel better tomorrow. Better tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I will very good. Feel better tomorrow. Very good. You know, I am going to give you a lot of percentage from the movie's uh, earnings. Number two. The movie will undoubtedly be so loud. The movie will undoubtedly be so loud. The movie will undoubtedly be so loud. The movie will undoubtedly be sold out. So I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is, and I have been looking for her. She probably went home. You know, uh, I, this is just an example, okay? You know, I, I am going to use another name. Pedrito looks very suspicious today. He definitely stole the diamonds. He definitely stole the diamonds. You know, I saw him yesterday entering to the building, but I cannot find him right now. He definitely, he definitely left, 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 left this morning. Okay, but do you think he is going to call me later? He surely he won't surely forget. Won't he surely won't forget. Won't forget. Hey, I didn't see the dog. It was here at home, but I don't know where it is right now. He's probably, he's probably in the park. Probably probably. In the park. It, okay. it, Kaiser it, is in the park. It, <laughs> in that case, it's it, but I know that it is yeah. a boy, right? It is I probably in the, park, in the park, right? You know, Jose Carlos is a very good student. He's I am certainly. <laughs> okay. You know, ah, this this boy, let me see. I am going to give you a real example. I am going to give you a real name. Uh, let me see. I haven't seen Maria Genoveva in classes. She has certainly forgotten the meeting. 
<laughs> but do you think that he is going to connect tomorrow? He will probably, he will probably remember, 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 remember tomorrow. Remember tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> or maybe he, he is going to be here like at, I don't know, 9, 10 or something, do you think? He's definitely, he's definitely, definitely running late. late. Okay, so I keep my... <laughs> <laughs> I keep my, my expectations. So you see, I was giving you different situations in different tenses, in different moments, and you were answering with the expressions of certainty. In this case, we have the future. I will definitely feel better tomorrow. The movie will undoubtedly be sold out. That is future. She probably went home. What is this one? Pass out. Pass. Pass. Right? It's past. <laughs> He definitely stole the diamonds. Past. 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 He definitely left the house this morning. Past. 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 He surely won't forget. Future. 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 He is certainly Future. a smart man. Present. 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 He has Present. certainly forgotten the meeting. Yes. Well, then in that case, this is present because present. we are still waiting, right? Present. It's present continuous, right? Uh, well, no, it's just present because continuous, we need the ing. He will probably remember tomorrow. Future, future. 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 And he is she definitely will, will running late. Remember tomorrow. Right? In this case, this one is present he continuous. Is, he is running, running late. Running so, late. as you can see, we have a whole variety of options. And let me see. I, uh, I was Carolina's question, right? Carita, did, you, did I answer your question with these examples? Yes, did you? Okay, very good. <laughs> I am very... <laughs> I know, I know, don't worry. Don't worry, but I try to answer all your questions here. Maybe right now you are going to wake up a little bit. I have here a little example and it says tell me about it and i have here some situations by the time you are 70 years old and you are going to answer with expressions of certainty you say ah um, yeah i am sure about it no i have two minds on this i am not sure i will definitely do that right here i have a lot of situations analyze them and add an expression of certainty to the answer that you will give me. <laughs> I have here, by the time you are 70 years old, piensen de aquí a cuando tengan 70. ¿verdad? Will you have had lots of grandchildren? Will you have become yeah. famous? Will you have spent time in jail? Will you have traveled to many countries? Will you have learned to speak three languages? Will you have run in a marathon? Will you have traveled to the moon on a holiday? Will you have written a book or an article? Will you have been married more than one time? Will you have become rich? I need you to choose three situations and answer them. But on your answer, I need you to include an expression of certainty or uncertainty, okay? I am going to give you some time for you to choose three situations and give me the answer. Escojan tres. La responden, pero en su respuesta pongan al menos una de las expresiones de eh, certainty or, or, cert, or uncertainty. Oh my God. Uncertainty that we have learned. Ya sea en afirmativo o en negativo. When you doubt about it, it's like, mm, I am in two minds on that. Okay, choose three situations. Ustedes van a tener 70 años, ok. Ahorita no lo piensen como de los 25 que tenemos ahorita. De los 15. Think when you become 70 years old. Choose three. You will have been married seven times. <laughs> Esposas y esposos son solo ejemplos, por favor. No, no piensen nada. Esposas y esposos que ven estos videos grabados, estos son ejemplos nada más. Nadie se va a divorciar de nadie ahorita. It's just an example.
two more minutes. Okay, did you finish? No yet. No yet. I will give you one more minute then. <clears throat> Teacher, don't remember the expression. <laughs> you don't remember the expressions. Okay, I am going to show you a couple of expressions. Creo que ya escogieron todas sus preguntas. Se las voy a volver a mostrar. Las preguntas sí las tengo, pero... Expressions. There you have... Oh, okay. Okay, good. And I have the ones for uncertainty. Certainty. Certainty is like you are sure. Yes. Uncertainty? Eh, I don't know. I am doubting. I, I am not sure. May and might are also possible. They teach us the positive anterior. There you go. Yeah. There you have. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Yep. Uh, if I want to use uh, the word perhaps. Perhaps. Uh -huh. Perhaps uh, for my answer is enough. Only the word. It's only the word. Yes, it's only okay. the word. <laughs> Imagine if you say like, uh, will you, uh, will you have spent time in jail? It's like, uh, perhaps. <laughs> It might happen again, right? <laughs> no, I have never no. been. I have never been. <laughs> only, only in the one in the turnos, right? Do you remember? No sé si ustedes todavía pasaron en ese momento. Cuando hacían turnos en las escuelas y había una cárcel donde los mandaban a, a meter presos a las parejas de la escuela. <laughs> yeah, that was a very good thing. Teacher. Yeah. Let me see again the... The expressions, for sure. There you go. The other one. For the case of the jail, you can say like, I strongly not believe that it might happen to me because I am always doing the right things. And here you have certainty and uncertainty. Okay, everybody, there on your camera, let me know if you're ready with a like. Estamos listos? Like in camera? Yeah, un like, yes? 
Are you ready, 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 ready? Yes? Excellent, excellent. Dianita is still working. Nelson is still working. Jose? Like? No like? No yet. Good. Okay. Before we go, uh, before we go and, and share it with everybody, I am going to send you to practice to mini groups. So all of you have the chance to speak, okay? So all of you have the chance to uh, participate. Because in some cases, when we, when we have it here and I say volunteers, three or four participate. But in the mini groups, all of you have the chance to express. And then I am going to be visiting every single group, okay? Right now, we are going to go to the groups and you are going to read your situations and your answer, okay? Read the situation and the answer. And um, after that, we're going to come back here and I'm going to ask for some volunteers, okay? So here, let me see. Okay, there you go. You are going to receive the invitation. Go, you are going to read the situation and your answer to the group. There you go. Okay, accept my invitations, my dear class. Okay. Okay, right now the students are going to express or to read the situations that they chose from the examples and the answers that they gave to each of the situations. We are going to be visiting all the different rooms to listen to what students are doing, okay? Hello, Rosie. I sent students to the groups. There you go. Hey. Okay, I'm going to wait for a couple of minutes to see if Rossi is going to connect again. And then I am going to go and listen to the groups. Let's go and check how the work, the groups are doing. Yes. Yes. Lo siento que me quedé en blanco un momento en la clase, chica. Y... Perdón que me dormí. Estoy tan cansada. Uh, three, three situation and, and ask the question. Uh, so if you want, you can read it. And you, or did you read it, all of you? Did you read all, all the rest? ¿Ya todas las demás ya la leyeron? No. no. Ok, quizás hagámoslo todas y después que lo haga Caro para que ella pueda. Teacher. Eh, en track ahí. Ajá. Don't copy the questions. Only the answers. <laughs> ok. Ok, let me share the, the questions. Here. Ok. Thank you. Let me see. It is right here. Ok. Thank you. So what is your questions? What, what are your questions? Uh, I will have 
have had a lot of grandchildren. Um, I have uh, about it because only I have one song. Only one song. <laughs> you only have one song, right? You have doubts about it. <laughs> but we never know. Maybe he can have a lot of children <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What is the next one? Um, I will have traveled. No, you will. I will. You have traveled to many countries. Uh, surely, yes. <laughs> I love traveling. That's pretty awesome. And the last one. And uh, I will. You have run in a marathon. And I do mind about it. <laughs> I have a uh, bad knees. <laughs> you have bad knees. Oh my God. Yeah. So I, I am in two minds about it. Good. Thank you very much, Yvette, for sharing. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Norma, did you share yours? Yes. Uh, yeah. um, the first one I will do have uh, had a lot of grandchildren. Uh, certainly, I think I will have three grandchildren. Nice. Um, the second, will you have traveled to many countries? I am sure about, I will travel to many countries. And the third, will you have learning to speak three languages? Yes, I am sure about, I will learn three languages, for example, Eng English, Chinese, and French. Hey, nice. See, I am sure about it. That's pretty awesome. You can do it. If you set your mind to it, for sure you can do it. That's very nice. Miss uh, Tatiana. Yes, teacher. Uh, will you have a lot of grandchildren? Uh, I'm sure I'm not going to have a lot of children. <laughs> grandchildren. Oh, you, okay. Uh, the second one is, will you, will you have become famous? I'm convinced I will be famous. <laughs> hey, that's pretty nice. I'm convinced that I am going to become famous. That's cool. And? And the third sentence is, will you have become rich? Uh, I but you can give me the answer. Would you have become rich by the age of 70? I'm certainly I'm going to be rich. I am certain I will. Certainly. Very good. And let's see, Christian, what are your sentences? And my first sentence is, my first question is, will you have traveled to many countries? And my answer is likelihood. Uh -huh. uh, I really love to travel to another country. Very good. What about uh, the next one? The next one, will you have become rich? And my answer is perhaps. <laughs> perhaps I will. <laughs> yes. Very good. Uh, and this, the last one is, will you have become famous? I doubt it. <laughs> you doubt it. <laughs> okay, Carolina, do you have one example? Ah, bueno, teacher, eh, estoy escuchando ahí y, eh, bueno, yo la he construido así. Y Ajá. solo he hecho dos porque la otra It's no okay. la he terminado. It's pero okay, don't worry. Tengo, vea, es que tengo. Dice... Eh, um, eh, la primera es how you become eh, rich uh, no no I absolutely won't get rich <laughs> I absolutely doubt it right I absolutely won't get rich uh -huh. <laughs> okay yeah. eh, luego la otra dice eh, will you eh, could you learn to speak three language uh, yes I say certainly mm -hmm. cold speak cold speak three languages. Okay, I certainly will be able to speak three languages. That's very good. You see, 
keep on working and you can keep on writing the next examples. Well, my dear girls, I am going to go back to the next groups. If you want, you can continue giving examples about the other ones. Uh, right now, not in camera, right? <laughs> I am going to go and visit the other ones. Discuss the others to see if if might happen to you or not. I will come back in a moment. Okay. So, sorry. Did so you finish? Sorry. Not believe that. <laughs> Teacher. Hi. We have due. Due. Doubts. Doubts. Doubt. 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 Okay. Tell me. Uh, what is the... What we do in the group? <laughs> with the, with the... Ah, okay. I send you a message. You have to explain the situation that you chose from all the ones that I have you here and to give your answer. For example, it says like, will you have had lots of grandchildren when you become 70? And it's so like, mm, in my case, I am in two minds about it because I only have one kid. And I think I am not going I to have a lot three. of grandchildren. Uh-huh. It's three. It's three. Three? Uh-huh. Number five and number seven okay will you have spent time in jail manuel antonio uh, to strongly not believe that <laughs> i strongly not believe that for sure <laughs> well <laughs> almost. Yeah, almost i strongly not believe that right good uh, silvia give me one example of the ones you chose um for example, uh, will you have written a book? Mm -hmm. uh, I will definitely write my autobiography. Hey, that's nice. My my autobiography. Autobiography. That's nice. Very good. I will definitely write my autobiography. Very good. What about Nelson? What example did you choose? Uh, example is uh, number one. Uh, will you have a log? Of, I'm sorry, pardon. Uh, uh, will you have a travel to to many countries? Uh huh. Uh, am I okay? Certain. I am certain about right. I am certain about. It's like estoy seguro que sí. Very okay. good. I am certain about. Let me see if I have another member here, Claudita. And Omar, Claudia, which one did you choose? Um, I choose number five. Uh huh. Will you have learned to speak three language? And I'm certain about about it. I already speak Spanish and English. Good. I'm, and you and do one more? French. And I need one more. Very good, French. German. You can French. learn French, German. Oh, German. German, German. German. Yeah, because Germany is the country. What about you, Mr. Omar Francisco? Give me your example. Uh, number two, will you have become famous? No, you will not be famous. <laughs> I doubt it, you say. I doubt it. Okay. <laughs> Discuss the other examples, and I am going to go to the next group. And I am going to keep on checking. I need to check one more group. You can discuss the other examples. Discutan los otros ejemplos, los otros dos ejemplos que tenían ustedes, ¿ok? Go ahead. It's because the doctor is dancing or maybe it's whatever. Well, Definitely, know. you. That is your power. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, <laughs> Did you okay. finish? Uh, yes. Okay. Almost can you answer. give me? Can you give me one of the examples that you chose? I need one example uh, per each. In my in my case, teacher, uh, I choose the the question. I chose. I chose the question. Will you have run in a marathon? And my answer is of course. I'm certain about that. Very nice. Even at least five marathons. <laughs> in at least five, at least. at least. Very good job. Thank you, Jorge. I need another example. Danny, Juan, Marlene. In my uh, case, teacher, um, I select. I selected. Uh, I selected. Will you have learned to speak to speak English? Uh, I am certain. 
Learn to speak very well. I am certain about it, you say. I am certain about it. Very good. Uh, okay. In Danny? my case, uh, which you have reading a book, uh, uh, these doublets in future near. In the near future, <laughs> right? It's doubtless. In the near future. Very good. It's doubtless. I will do it in the near future. Very nice. Marlene? Um, I chose I chose, you say? Okay, I'm chose. Um, what is it? The number uh, two. Only one. Only one. The number only two. one. Only one. <laughs> the last one we talked with you is the number two. Okay. <laughs> number two. The, the answer is TikToker. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? <laughs> I am sure is a. Um, I am a TikToker. <laughs> hey, that's pretty awesome. I will follow no. you. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. And, and it is so curious how people can become famous on TikTok. Yeah. Just by doing, in some cases, anything, right? But We're they talking they, about it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> awesome. And I am going to ask uh, Mr. Jose Carlos. Go ahead. Okay, I choose the number 10. I chose because it's I fast. Chose, yes. I chose the number 10. Will you have become rich? And my answer is I'm not convinced that I will become a rich man because <laughs> I spend so rich and I earn such poorly. <laughs> I always say I have I have a rich taste in a poor body. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh no, the queso con loroco pedilas. <laughs> but yeah. I don't have, I just have one dollar. Only, only ask for one. <laughs> Yeah. I, I need hello. Tell me. Hi. Hello, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Don't oh, worry. We finished the activity. <laughs> okay, we are going to go back to the rooms right now. I need one example for each okay. of you, okay? Necesito un ejemplo de cada una. Así lo hacemos aquí personal y después volvemos al grupo. Go ahead. Ah, uh, okay. Um, well... <coughs> Let me see my case. Uh, okay, the first one. Uh, will you have had a lot of grandchildren? And I said, I will definitely have a lot of uh, children, grandchildren, sorry, because I want to be a grandmom more than <laughs> I want to be a mom. <laughs> you want to be a grandmother. I, I, I really doubt yeah. it because I only have one kid. <laughs> Maybe if he has a lot of kids, that then I'm going to be a very happy grandmother. But I don't really know. But that's cool. Okay. Linda, Yvette, uh -huh. give me your example. Okay. Uh, for example, will you have learned to speak three languages? Yeah, I will thoroughly learn to speak three languages. Very nice. Uh -huh. I started with English already okay you started with english you can you you know english you know yeah, spanish first. and for first sure one. you can have a french or german or mandarin or any other one and you know yeah. we are we are very lucky of because <laughs> spanish is the most difficult language to learn in in its our native language because americans have a lot of difficulties at the moment of learning spanish more than the ones that we have at the moment of learning English. Because here you have like a ah, okay. preterito, preterito, perfecto, preterito, no sé qué, preterito, no sé cuánto. We have a lot of rules and it is more than the ones that they have in English. So you are lucky, you know two already. <laughs> Let's see, Diana, what is your example? Um, I choose number two, will you have become famous? And I write, I will certainly have become a famous psychologist. Hey, fantastic, right? You will certainly become a very famous psychologist. And for sure, last but not least, Olga. Okay, in my case, I choose the number one. And the rest, and the answer is, I am sure saying that I will have a lot of grandchildren because I just have a daughter. <laughs> you are uncertain, exactly <laughs> like me. Okay, let's go back to the general room, my dear class. Thank you for your answers. Thank you. Okay.
Welcome back, welcome back. Okay, my students, many of them are still coming back. It was a very curious moment on which I was checking on the different questions that you have and say like, no, teacher, I won't do that. Or I will definitely do that. Or maybe not, teacher, that's not for me. We have a lot of very famous people here, let me tell you. We have artists, we have writers, we have TikTokers, we have models, we have mm -hmm. everything. We <laughs> We have a, a, a psychologist, gamers, accountants that are going to become very, very famous in the near future. So in general, my dear class, as I can see all the cameras, yes, I can only, I am missing Marlene, Omar and Tatiana. I can see all the rest of cameras. I need the three cameras. Thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, Omar. And I'm missing Marlene. And I think everybody can see everybody, right? Todos pueden ver a todos, you know? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, if not, I am, yeah, I think everybody can see everybody. So in the camera, you're going to raise your hand for yes and an X for no, okay? Raise your hand if it's a yes and an X if it is a no. Tell me, students, tell me the first one. Will you have lots of grandchildren by the age of 70? <laughs> I only have one kid. I cannot, I don't think so. Oh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I hope I won't. Mm -hmm. will, will you have become famous? <laughs> I think I will become famous as a TikToker. Even as a TikToker, I will become famous. Instagram. <laughs> In Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> Tatiana. Yeah, you're, you will become famous, right? For sure. Tell me, will you have a spend time in jail by the age of 70? <laughs> Hopefully not, right? Ahorita con el régimen. Uy, no. Uy, no. Might be. <laughs> hey, Manuel. Manuel, but it was in all the neighborhood. Huh? It was in all the neighborhood, Manuel. Uh, yesterday the... definitely <laughs> it's because manuel manuel has an anecdote <laughs> from yesterday yesterday the pnc not knocking my door <laughs> imagine if we were in class it was like yes. Abra la puerta, te charnati, <laughs> and i was like what oh my goodness so but no that's a that's a question that we say no the next one Will you have traveled to many countries? Yes. I want to travel to many countries. Yeah. The next one. Will you have learned to speak three languages? I want the fourth one. Yay. Very good. Let's see. Will you have run in a marathon? Yes. <laughs> Jorge, yes. A lot. Well, we never know, right? Yeah, just I, would in, like, would like. I would like to do it definitely i would like I, to do I, it i do it indeed yes oh jorge did it you are on example to jorge. Follow. yeah jorge very good <laughs> i always say i almost never run so if you see me running run <laughs> yeah for sure the next one will you have traveled to the moon will you have traveled to the moon ¿Ya van a ver viajado a la luna? no right an x for that no, no. well no, we never so. know right we uh -huh. never know sí, tras que no ha ido quizás ni a panamá vea yo voy a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> en la mitad de mi vida quizás no he ido todavía a Panamá quizás no voy a ir a la luz ok, yeah. the next one will you have written a book? Um, the third one the fourth one I have four congratulations <laughs> yeah, it's all about English, right? but it's, it's cool, right? and let me see, will you have uh, being married more than one time? 
Okay. No, 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 my love, no. Really, not believe that. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, not yeah. believe that. And, and my husband. Oh, sorry, I'm going to lunch with the leader. No, I'm kidding. Well, do you have become rich? Happily, even on knowledge, aunque sea en conocimiento, <laughs> but I will become rich, rich in knowledge. And that's the Ooh. most important part. He will surely do that. Tell me, what is a dream that you want to accomplish in the near future? I need two or three volunteers. That a dream that you have and you, you are sure about it. Um, I, uh -huh. Diana? I will certainly have my own car. Great, I will certainly have my own car. Very good. Another dream that you have in the near future? To me? Uh huh. No, 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 no. It's okay. You have you. I, I got your example about the car. That's pretty awesome. You will do it for sure. Soon, Vilma. <laughs> the you are mute, Vilma. The the microphone. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Sorry. There you go. Uh, I certainly am uh, traveling. One uh, to all family to New York. Hey, okay. You will certainly travel with your whole family to New York. Wow, what a beautiful dream. That's pretty nice. You will make it. One more. One more before okay. we do the other exercise. Uh huh. Certainly, I will go to that party. I will certainly go to that party, right? We don't know what party, but for sure you will go. Take us. Yeah. <laughs> we love to dance. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I am. I I have no doubt that I will really enjoy my scholarship this year. I have a scholarship uh, in September, and I, I will definitely enjoy it. So, where? where? It is, um, it's, um, it's for uh, teachers from around the world. So I am going to meet 168 teachers from all over the world and I'm representing this country and this is pretty nice. So what is this? In, so cool. in, it's in the US. Oh, yes. Congratulations. Hey, I will say like, I have such fantastic students there in El Salvador, I'm going to say. <laughs> I, will, I will take some pictures of you. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, this is intermediate for what else do you want to say? You have everything here. <laughs> yes. So those are the expressions of certainly, my dear class. What about this one? <clears throat> here I have a couple of examples. We have certainly, supposedly, naturally, possibly, apparently, presumably, of course, probably, obviously, and doubtless. Which one do you think are for certainty and which ones do you think are for uncertainty? Certainly. Certainly, certainly is certainty. Okay. Let's see, we're going to write number one here and number two for this one. Okay, what a beautiful number two. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a number two here. Ta -da. Yeah, better. So, yeah, ahorita todos los diseñadores están así como, oh, mis ojos. There. <laughs> Certainly, is it number one or number two? One. Number one. Number one. 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 Supposedly. Okay. Number, number two. two. Number two. Number two, two. right? Naturally. Number one. Number, number one. one. Number, number one, one, right? Number one. Possibly. Number, number two. two. Number two. Apparently. Number two. Number two, right? Are they married? Hmm. Apparently they are married, but we don't know. <laughs> Presumably. Number two. Number two, number two right? Two. Of course. One. Number, one. One. Number, one. number one. Probably. Number two. Number two. Obviously. Number, number one. one. Number one. And doubtless. Number two. Number two. Number two. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number doubtless. One. Doubtless is sin duda alguna, right? Ah, okay. Sin lugar a dudas. Yeah, okay. okay. 
Now, here we have for sure these uh, different sentences, like certainly, supposedly, naturally, possibly, apparently, presumably, of course, probably, obviously, and doubtless. Here, I took advantage of this and I did it beforehand. This is what we were doing, right? To write sentences with the different expressions. This is what we did in the previous exercise. Eso es lo que lo estuve haciendo en el ejercicio anterior, que ustedes escribieron sus, sus respuestas, okay? Mm -hmm. So here, mm -hmm. the only new ones that we have is naturally, apparently, uh, presumably, and I think, well, doubtless. Probably. I, probably. Probably. Uh, supposedly. Supposedly. Right? Supposedly. Right? This is a very common expression in our country. Right? Supposedly. Who was supposed to do the job? <gasps> it was supposedly be done by Manuel. And Manuel says, no, no, no. Supposedly, Juan de Dios was in charge of that one. And Juan de Dios, hey, my God, you are always loving the chambre here. You know, supposedly Jorge was going to help me with Diana, but they didn't do it. And then the bolita, it's like with one, another one, and another one, and another one. Supposedly. And for sure, doubtless, no one did anything. <laughs> so this is a good example. And here you have supposedly it's like supposedly supposedly right but more common expression supposedly <laughs> supposedly right this is the most common for for us in el salvador right yes Iban a venir, supuestamente vos, así me dijeron. and we never know anything right we're just inventing something mm -hmm. so you say obviously obviously definitely definitely can you do it <laughs> Obviously, I can do it. Did you do it? No, I couldn't. <laughs> it was very hard, you see. <laughs> of course, I am going to try, but not right now. Okay, and I am going to go back here to my presentation. I don't know where I left it. It's here. I have some examples for us to complete. Here. I have the first sentence here. I don't know if you can read it. Children will still go to school in the future. Yes? Yes. yes. Children mm -hmm. will still go to school in the future, right? This is the first one. I have some oh. options. Oh. Of course that children will go to school in the future. I'm sure that children will go to school in the future or will sure that children will still go to school in the future. Which one do you consider correct? I am sure. Yeah, will sure to go to high school to school. Sure. Yes, it's like I number two. I am sure. I am sure. I think I'm sure. I, think I'm sure. I am sure. <laughs> I think you say I am sure about it, right? Because here you cannot say I of sure that children, right? It's not possible. Or I will sure that children will, because it's no, not possible as well. So sure. I am I am sure. sure. I am sure. I am sure that am children sure. will go to school in the future. What about the next one? The sentence, the idea is there is no chance that he will find out. No hay posibilidad que se dé cuenta. And we have to use definitely. What about this case? What do you think will be the most appropriate answer? Or if all of them are possible. He, definitely he definitely won't find out. He will definitely not find out. Or he definitely would, will not find out. Definitely won't. Uh -huh. If anyone want, will not. Definitely will not. All of them are possible. None of them are possible, or only one is possible. All I think all of them. Me too. I think all of them. All of them. Uh -huh. ¿Quién da más? ¿Quién da más? I think it's the last one. Definitely will not find out. He definitely will not find out. You know, all the options are possible. Okay. okay. All the options are correct, right? The three options are possible. In this case, you say, he definitely won't find out. 
Definitivamente oh, no obvious, se va a dar cuenta. Obviously. obviously. <laughs> he will definitely not. It's the same. He will definitely not. It's correct. And he definitely will not find out. The three of them are possible. Without doubt. Without doubt. The next one, it says, I am not sure that he will get another opportunity. I am not sure that he will get another opportunity. This is the general idea. And you have to say, not. He will not, he might not, he may not, he may be not. He will, we will not. We it says, not we another. will not get okay. another opportunity. And here you have the options. One, two, three, four options. One. Si tuviéramos que descartar not. a una y tirarla del barco, ¿cuál fuera? Will not. Will not. <laughs> will not. <laughs> will not. Tú estás eliminada. <laughs> What about another one? ¿Qué otra tiraríamos del barco? Maybe not. May. Maybe not. May may not. Maybe, maybe not. not. Porque esa no fue ninguna de las opciones que hemos estudiado esta noche. Mm -hmm. He maybe not yet. <laughs> no, right? And, The and other may two? Be, may not. My not. not. My not. No, my, my not. not. My not and may not. Okay, let me just go back to my friends. Let me see. Why not? Uh, no, this is from yesterday, sorry. Here. Okay, okay. Let me just go back here. We will not. Hey. No, this is... Ah, here it is. Por aquí los tengo, eh? What is an option that you have here? The model. Uh, may and might. May and might may also and express might. uncertainty. So in this case, we cannot throw them away because they both, both are, correct. are correct. They both are correct. So in this case, you say may not or may not, it's a possibility, right? So in this one here, this one is correct and this one is correct. In this one, the three of them are correct. And my not. What about okay. the next one? I am certain that we will see a lot of technological advances in the next 50 years. The word bound to, it's like when you are sure that it is going to happen, right? I am bound to. It's like, yo soy fiel creyente, yo sé que pasará, right? That is the meaning of bound to. So in this case, as this one is a new one because we didn't study it before, it says we are bound to see a lot of technological advances in the next 50 years. We will to see, this is the only one that it's not possible. Because we cannot say we will to see. It's not possible. And we are bound to. This is also possible, right? We are bound to We're see. Bound to. bound to. It's like, yo estoy seguro. Tengo la, eh, la, seguridad. La, la seguridad de que así será. That's the meaning of mm -hmm. bound to. Okay. The final examples that I have for this exercise are the following. And these ones, I am going to allow you to read them. And let me see. I am going to ask Omar. Can you help me to read the first uh, sentence? Boy. <laughs> Boy, thank you. Here. Coming. This one. Sorry. We probably won't think uh, anyone to help now find no. find find we probably won't find anyone to help now and here we you are going to use much yes. and the options that we have in this case it says like there's no much chance that we will find anyone to help now or there isn't much change and you say like there's no probably have chance Which one do you think it's incorrect? Probably. No probably have. No probably have, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't match with the idea, right? The yeah. other two are possible, right? These ones are possible. There is not much chance or there isn't much chance. 
Yes. The two of them are correct. What about number six? Carolina, can you help me with number six? Okay, number six. Uh, Here you have it. Yeah. Uh, there is? There is a cool chain well how to put phones the meeting. There is a good chance we will have to postpone the meeting. And here you have expect, right? You say, I expect, I expect that, I expect for that. Uh, I expect, I expect for that. Okay, I expect for that. What about the rest? Do you think the other two are correct? Uh, for me, correct, I expect for that. I expect for that, good. The other two cases, we say, I expect that, we will have to postpone the meeting, right? In this case, this one is correct. If you only say, I expect, we will have to postpone the meeting, it is uh, correct, but it is better to say, I expect that, okay? okay. Yes. So in this case, expect is the first one is not possible, but the other ones, yes. What about number seven? Manuel, can you help me to read number seven? She won't be happy to hear that. She won't be happy to hear that. It's like, ooh, <laughs> sure. This one is easy because I just gave you two options and the two of them are possibly correct. So you say, I am sure or I should. I'm sure. I'm sure, right? I'm <laughs> this sure. one was this one was easy. And what about the last one? There's a chance you might need to buy a new one. There's a chance you might need to buy a new one. Marlene, can you help me to read the examples? I think you might need to buy a new one. I, I... think you might. Uh huh. I think you may mm -hmm. need to buy a new one and I make you need to buy a new one. Okay, so the one that you don't need, students, which one is? I think maybe you. I think maybe, I you. Think maybe you, right? I think maybe you need to buy a new one, right? I think you might, I think you may, right? The two of them are possible. Well, so in these five minutes that we are missing, I am going to introduce a little bit on what we are going to be working on tomorrow. Let me just erase everything here. Tomorrow we're going to be building up a little bit of a, we're going to do a little bit of group work. We're going to do group work and we are going to be working on a product, okay? So right now in these final minutes, I am going to send you back to the groups and I need you to decide on the product that you are going to be working with, okay? I need you to decide which product are you going to be using for tomorrow, okay? Because you are going to use a product to create a little chart, like the one that I am showing you here, for you to work on the process of selling. Exactly what we did with Wendy, but in this case, you are going to create the product and you are going to choose the distribution channel. You are going to, uh, to think if the customers are going to buy it or not, right? If it fits the organization you are going to do, the potential profit that they might have, the possible channel that you might use, right? But I need you right now, and I'm going to send you to the groups to do that. Vamos a ir a los grupos solo para unos dos minutitos y que decidan qué producto quieren utilizar en la clase de mañana. Okay, let's go to the groups and decide on the product. Yesterday, Wendy was selling clothes. Uh, the other ones were selling ice cream. I don't know, what product do you think you want to work with? Escojan el producto con el que van a trabajar en la clase de mañana y vean con quién les toca trabajar. Okay, let's go to the groups right now.
Okay, so in these last minutes of the class, students are going to choose a product because tomorrow we are going to be working on this little chart. They are going to create channels of distribution, what type of customers they are going to approach for sure, if the product fits uh, the necessities of the, of the clients, of the customers, if it fits the organization and the profit potential that this product has. Okay, here you have the explanation of what it is going to happen. In this case, they are a group of farmers, right? And they have their own product, right? They grow crops, but I don't know what students are going to choose. I am going to bring them back. Hopefully they have already decided on the product that they are going to be working with. Okay. Let's go and check a couple of them to see if they finish. Es un grupo de un grupo de agricultores. Ajá. Ya pensaron en qué producto van a ocupar mañana o lo van a seguir pensando durante el día. Oh, we are no. discussing. Okay. What you can do is check on the people that it's on your group, right? Check on the people who are on your group. And during the day, you can discuss. Hey, people, we can work with, uh, with I don't know, with tamales, with tortillas, with chicken, with, I don't know, with daily products. Read the names of the people on your group, okay? And check who is included for you to be able to actually discuss a little bit and for you to be ready for all the things that we're going to do in class. Okay. Okay. Se ajusta el, pre, el producto de la marca, se, se ajusta la organización, mm, uh -huh. el potencial beneficio. Okay. Did you choose the product? No? Uh, yes. Shampoo. A shampoo, hey, nice. Yeah. Okay, look at the people who are in your group, okay? Write down the names. Anoten los nombres de quienes van en su grupo. No van a estar, yes. quién voy, teacher? Remember, uh, remember. I'm a, I'm, I'm, group, I'm group number two. You are group number two, Claudia, Omar, Silvia, Nelson, and Manuel. Okay, I will okay. check the next one. I will check number three. But the fruit? Is a good idea for Danny is <laughs> okay. I, I, my, my business. Hey, uh, yeah. that's cool yeah. because you have the business already. That's a smart. Yeah. Okay, so you have your product. People write the names of the members of your group, please. So tomorrow you say like teacher remember the know, names yeah. of the people in your we, group. We okay. Take no teacher. Very good. Take a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to go to the last group. I'm going to go with the okay. last group. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you choose the product that you're going to be working with? Yes. 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 Okay, so write down the names of the people in your group and have it ready for tomorrow. We're going to work on that in class. So uh, don't worry about doing it during the day or something like that. We're going to do it in class. So don't worry, but uh, decide on what to do. Yes? Uh, it is necessary to choose a specific brand. No, no, because it's your oh. product. You can create the name and everything. It's like, oh, okay. champú siempre limpio. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Okay, no. keep the names of the people in the group, okay? So I am okay. going to, okay. I am going to call students back for us to wrap up the class. And, okay, okay. let's go back. Okay, thanks teacher. Yeah. Okay, my dear students, we are back. And for sure, I just wanted to say goodbye to all of you together. Let's wait for your friends to come. There you go. So tomorrow we're going to be doing a lot of group work, right? Get to know your partners. We're going to be working together. And for sure, okay. 
we're going to be developing this like distribution things like ideas, marketing, putting practice about the different products. So my dear class, I didn't feel the time. My God, I think that I just say, hello, good evening. And now I am done with the class. So that's fantastic. I am going to see you tomorrow to continue working on this. It was a pleasure to see you once again. And for sure, sleep well and rest a lot. See you tomorrow for Thank your you. next class. Thank Have you. a beautiful night. And I'm good going night. to say, good night. Have good a good night, night everybody. Good night. I am good going night. to stay for a couple good of night. minutes with good this. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I am yeah. just bye bye. Take care. I am going to Good stay evening. with Christia for a moment. <laughs> Have a very a very beautiful night. Good evening. Good evening and good night. <laughs> bye, Danny. Hello, Christia. Christia Natalie. What a Hello. beautiful name. <laughs> and thank you. Okay, this is a moment just for you. I really like this this moment of the class because I can actually talk to you, get to know you a little bit more, uh, like going deep to the things that you need and, and for sure, right, to, to work in detail about certain things that Christia needs about English. Tell me a little bit of your background with the language, Christia. Okay, I, I studied, I studied English. I studied, studied. I studied English um, a lot of years ago. Many years ago, you said. Uh, many years ago, yes. And I think my very hard point is the least, or the skill that I need to improve is the listening and the, um, the speaking. Oh, okay. I need conf I need confidence. Confidence. I need confidence with myself. Yes. You know, you know, Chris, Christia, this is very common. And I, I have seen this a lot during my whole, my whole, I mean, all my, my years of teaching that in many of the cases when, when we learn English, right, we don't have the confidence to speak the language. And it is curious because we think that the other person is going to, uh, it's going to be like laughing about us or it's going to be criticizing us. And it is curious because it's the opposite. When you speak English, the other person says, hey, she can speak English and I cannot. And they feel ashamed, right? Cualquiera en el contrario dijera, si me oyen, si me oyen hablar, me van a criticar. ¿verdad? Y al contrario, yeah, las yes. otras personas dicen, hey, ella puede, yo no. ¿verdad? <laughs> so, mm -hmm. and, and that's a, the part of confidence that I always work with my students. And I say, don't be afraid of being, I mean, of being a little bit more like dedicated, a little bit more, like um, hardworking, intelligent than others. And that is the moment of confidence. And I always compare them with the people who are learning Spanish. Have you seen Americans speaking Spanish? Yes. <laughs> and they don't care. I mean, it's, they are like, Caseso, no sé qué bonito, mucho, mucho barato, they say. Yes. And they don't care because they want to practice. And if they say like, and they start talking and talking and talking with you. So that's the confidence that you need to have with the English language. Good things that you can work for the confidence. Um, I have uh, very good sites online and there is one about shadowing videos. Shadowing is when you listen to the video and you repeat at the same time and you repeat at the, at the same speed of the video. It helps you get more fluency. It helps you get more confidence, more vocabulary at the moment of speaking. And also I have seen that you are participating a lot in class that it's going to help you a lot uh, okay. because uh, as, as you, the exposure that you get is going to help you uh, a lot more. And in general, besides the class, what other things do you do in order to improve your English? Uh, repeat please in besides the class i mean be, apart from the class that we are here from eight to ten what other things do you do in your normal day to improve your english um all my daily routine is is with english oh really uh, all my daily tell, routine, tell me about 
because I, I work with um, American people. I work for Flystart in USA and I, I have a communication all day with gringos. <laughs> <laughs> with Americans, with Americans. <laughs> with Americans. And that's the reason that's why I really need to improve my English because um, all Thursdays. Hi, <laughs> what a beautiful dog. Yes. Is it it's a boxer? Pitbull. No, it's Pitbull. Oh my goodness. I will yes. introduce Kira. Kira, vení. <laughs> Mira, un muchacho aquí. <laughs> Winter Kira. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I have a boxer dog. Oh, oh but they are very lovely. Yes. So you work with Americans every single day. Yes, every single day. Yes. And, but my my principal work is say, I keep sending emails and I think my writing is very, very good. And I think very, very well the 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 the, the sentences and the, the structures. Language, but yes, yes. I don't need the translate, but when I want to speak. I really feel shy. Yes. Okay. You know, uh, I don't know if you drive. Do you drive? Yes. Okay. Meanwhile, and in some cases, if you are driving by your, I mean, on, on your own or by yourself, you can be recording audios on, on WhatsApp or in a recording device or something. And you say you can record audios about your day, for example. If you are alone in the car and you say like, well, today was a very difficult day. I had to do many things and, da, 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 and you continue recording, right? Later, when you get to your house, you listen to your audios and you're going to say like, oh, no, no. Uy, lo dije así, no es así, lo dije así, no va así. So it, it's going to help you to train your ear and also to start building the confidence of speaking. Also, if you have the chance and you have this American environment, speak any time or any opportunity that you have to practice, do it because that it's going to help a lot uh, uh, with your confidence. Many Americans are not going to criticize if you make a mistake. Oh no, ella no conjugó el verbo, mira, le puso malo el plural. No, they are going to find the way to communicate. And in that, in that you're going to break that barrier of, of being afraid. And also for sure, uh, when you write the emails, try to read them aloud. Trata de leerlos en voz alta. No sé si tienes como tu oficina ahí que lo puedas hacer, pero o sea, sí. ajá, pero entonces ahí ahí está como que mi problema, digamos, yo lo escribo y en mi mente va uh, súper hiper mega bien y cuando lo leo me trago, lo mismo que yo he escrito. <risa> ajá, pero entonces ahí en, en esos casos sí, eh, aún el correo cuando ya lo armó, léalo, léalo en voz alta. Léalo okay. en voz alta y le va a ir sirviendo para irse entrenando también ya. Tanto la mente, como ya tiene entrenada la mente y los dedos. Ya como, mm, ya lo conecto. Pero a veces mm. uno dice, mm, sí, se ve chivo. ¿Cómo suena? Ajá, veamos cómo suena. Es like, hello, Mr. Nusque. I am writing to let you know about this and this. So you can start putting a voice to your ideas. Yeah. It helps a lot. So... Uh, that okay. those are like kind of the tips that I can give you. I don't know if you need any other special type of help from the class. Um, no, I think I'm okay. Okay, how, how have you feel about these days that we have been working? I really feel uh, very comfortable. I like all my classmates. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. They, are, they are a very cool group. I, I yes. really like Yes, yes. They are very dedicated and, and they laugh and they they like kind of make jokes and everything. And they are very serious <laughs> at the moment of working. So that's something that I really appreciate. Yes, I really like this. Okay, Cristia, if you have anything else that I can help you with, no, there's no doubt that you can come and, and let me know. And for sure that I will be more than glad to help you. Okay. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful night. Rest a lot. And I'm going to see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.